I haven't had a pimple since I was 18, and I don't care if you believe me or not. And how's this? You're fired. I was going to fire Comey. My decision. It's got to be here somewhere. I'm not crazy. I can smell it. The body language is something going on. Now look, there's something going on. You're not Copus Mentis. You got some bats in the belfry. This guy is sick. There's something wrong with this guy. I'm the man. Send the tights in. Wait to see him. Hey, you little kid. If I have kids that like me that much, how bad can I be, right? And they love their daddy. George, there's a southpaw down there nobody's been able to get a look at. Something Rodriguez. I don't really know his name. The judge, who happens to be, we believe, Mexican, which is great. I think that's fine. Where it has you've been cracking under the pressure. Can't cope. Can't stand the heat. Marco Rubio, who stood with me, he was with me when he had the meltdown. And I'm telling you, it wasn't a pretty sight. I am very concerned about George Costanza. How about a good morning? Oh, yes, sir. Good morning. Is your thinking on this line of attack? Well, this is a nice way to start off the interview. First of all, uh, you should congratulate me for having won the race. I thought, you know, at least it'd be a small congratulations. Easy. Easy, big time. Get it together. Stay on point, Donald. Stay on point. Excellent little calzone you got there, Costanza. And we had the most beautiful piece of chocolate cake that you've ever seen. A lost and found, huh? No, I don't think we need that. If people can't hold on to things, that's their tough luck. So I want them to pay. And here's the story. They will pay. A uh, lost and found could be a good idea. Hold on, Watson. Do you like a lost and found, George? Definitely. Hmm. All right, a lost and found. But there's got to be some kind of time limit. We're not running a pawn shop here. I said it was obsolete. It's no longer obsolete. I don't really know what the hell's going on here. What the hell is going on?